Okay, hey everybody, thanks for joining us for a Wednesday workshop with Colorado LTAP. We like to bring industry professionals your way to talk about quick hits and hot topics. And today we have Keller Hayes from, um, well, she actually has a lot of titles, so I'll let her uh, introduce yeah. herself, but she is here today to speak to us um, from the construction and transportation girl uh, seat. So Keller, I will hand it over to you. Okay, awesome. Well, um, I'm thrilled to be here today. Uh, my background is I have a minor in women's studies and I have worked um, with minority and women owned construction and transportation companies for the last 15 years. And notice that there just weren't many women in the industry. Um, so at the Hoya Foundation, we started the program called Transportation and Construction Girl. And let me share um, what I would like to do first is to share a video. Um, we do several programs. This program talks about um, nine-year-old Lily Gonzalez who went to Transportation Construction Girl Day for the first time last year. And she can tell you a lot of the reasons that we started this program, and then I'll go into some more details. So let me see if I can share this now. Um, Keller, we're actually not hearing it. Okay. Yeah, I think probably that setting. Okay, so let me go back. Sorry about that. Do you remember where that audio setting was? Of course I don't. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> um, okay. Um, it has to do with, let me see if I can find it again. Okay, so uh, drop down and you have to optimize for motion and video. Okay. And make sure that share computer audio is checked. Okay, let's try it again. Round two. 
Are you sharing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we thought can, I was. We can see you, not the video. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yep, perfect. Now we can. Okay. Hear you. things that I just wanted to like touch and feel and see and think about and it was very inspiring and very like wow look at all these things I can do <laughs> it really inspired me to be who I wanted to be when I grow up when you have that extra boost you're like there's no going back <laughs> like you're just all ready for we pass multiple construction sites everywhere along the way, and each time she sees something new, she proposes it as, I could do that someday, or I could drive that, I could operate this, and she never even paid attention to things like that before. I didn't really know a lot about um, transportation and construction, though. I, I didn't really see cranes, or I, I, I barely even knew what cranes were. We need roads built. We need. Um, infrastructure and we need people that are deep thinkers like that and I don't know that if we hadn't had this event that Lily would have ever even considered um, a role that would be that important for her future and for the world around her that there's a potential for her to make an impact in a much deeper way than she'd ever possibly given herself credit for. And I think it's it's really cool that you can you can just go to a place and then come home and have your mind set to a different world. If you're looking to make a mark, it's just the right place to sponsor and promote right now. We're proud supporters of transportation and construction girls. That, that goes without saying. TCG is a passion project for me. I feel like my money going to this project is its actually making a difference. I want to know that my daughter has a seat at the table. It's really nice to see their faces and how excited they are. We are cultivating and building other people's dreams. I just want to take a moment to say thank you to everybody who sponsors this event as it's been incredibly empowering to watch my daughter just flourish after this event. There was a whole new level of confidence and she was seen by so many adults and believed that the world was at her fingertips, which is what any parent wants for their child. We are truly, truly lucky to have had this opportunity, so thank you. Thank you for providing me this opportunity and inspiring me for to do something that I might be able to do when I grow older. So that is Lily. Um, I'll see if I can actually share this. Google Five. Hello, I'm Francesca. I'm an. Don't know who Francesca is, so. Can you see the PowerPoint now? Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay. Not really sure why the next slide is coming up, but we'll just go with it. Um, I have two screens, so I'm not sure which one you see, but um, I will just go through it anyway. So we started this program because we really wanted to embrace the future of women in this industry. At the time we started, only 8% of the construction workforce was women, and now it's 11, um, and we want that number to keep going up. And one of the things we talk about is 
um, workforce because we could totally answer the workforce demand in this industry just by getting more women into the industry. Um, and we want to encourage young women to pursue these sustainable, non-traditional careers. I will never forget talking to a carpenter years ago who said to me, you know, when I got divorced, I got to say it sucked. But the fact is, I never had to worry if I could take care of my kids or if I would lose my house. So we want to make sure that young women go into their futures having um, salaries that will sustain them. And we want to inspire young girls by letting them see other women succeeding in the industry. Um, TCG Day, it will be September 29th. And this last year we had 37 interactive exhibits and we had over 300 girls um, attend. And one of the questions we always get asked is, why just girls? You know, we want boys to have opportunities too, but the fact of the matter is, as an industry, we have been sending individuals into the um, school rooms at the end of their um, career, which also meant that they were men because that's what's been predominantly in this industry. And the girls would sit in the back go out, I don't even know what this has to do with me. Um, the other thing is that once girls get into high school, they really wanna be right. And that's not from an egotistical perspective, but it's from the perspective of, I don't want to answer a question if I'm going to be wrong. Um, so it's really important that they have this opportunity to network with other girls and to um, not be embarrassed by feeling like they're going to fail at something. Um, I can't tell you how many times I have seen girls get um, embarrassed by various things. And I'm going, you know, it's just a small group here and we're all supporting you. So this event is the event that Lily went to. Uh, we have it at, Je at Jefferson County Fairgrounds, and it's just a great time from 8.30 to 1.30 for girls to meet people in the industry and to do interactive exhibits. Um, and we also have a box lunch. It's just a great day. Um, one of the things that we have talked about a lot is that it's so important to get women in the pipeline early. Um, we worked on a program several years ago that was a um, scholarship program for girls that were in college, which is great, but that doesn't get those girls to those college programs. It doesn't get those girls to the apprenticeship programs. It doesn't get those girls to on the job training. Um, so it's really important to reach them early. And we really see ourselves as a feeder system. Um, that we're, there's so many training opportunities. Now we talk to those training programs and they're like, we wish we could get girls into these programs. I'm like, that's what we can help you do. And that's what we've really been working on. Um, another thing that we found out is that heavy equipment is so intimidating to young women. I'll stand next to a piece of equipment, maybe even a little small skidster and I'll go, okay, we've got somebody standing right next to you to show you how to move the bucket on this. I'm right here. There's only a small group of girls here with you. You know, just get on it. And they'll look at me and they'll go, well, I don't know how. And I don't know what I'll do. And what if I break it? I'm like, you're 70 pounds soaking wet. This equipment can handle it. Um, and what you see here is this girl's delighted once she got in there and actually touched some of the controls. She loved it, but I can guarantee in a mixed gender group, she would have never got on that piece of equipment. So that's another one of the things. We really try to take the intimidation of the industry away for young women. Self-esteem. This is just, I mean, it's still, it's like every time I look at this number, it, it hurts. Um, because roughly 66% of girls' self-esteem between middle school and high school goes down. And that's just a huge number. And so we really need to make sure that we're reaching them earlier and that we're doing anything that we can to help support them with that self-esteem. Um, I had one young woman who we'll see later whose parents came up to me. And um, I always joke that it's the men that cry, because it is. 
And so her father was crying. He's like, I can't thank you enough. Um, she now is at a construction pathway at her high school. So number one, I know that she won't be living with me the rest of her life. He said, but number two, even more important than opening up the career fields to her was that you really helped her self-confidence. And um, that's one of the things that we see a huge jump in with our programs as well. Um, see it to be it. I literally had this one woman at Career Week for Girls come up to me and she was just sobbing and I'm like, oh my God, what's happened? And this is exactly what she said. She said, up until this week, I'd just been getting by. I thought I would just be getting by for the rest of my life because that was all I deserved. Now I have options. A week later, she was working at a construction company and making a lot more than she had been making stocking shelves for a retail store. Um, but up until that program, she hadn't even imagined it was possible for her. Um, one of the other programs we do is Career Week for Girls. So we have two weeks we're doing this year. Each week, we bring in 12 girls and they go to five different um, companies for that week from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. They get to do interactive hands-on exercises. They also get to go on field trips. They get to talk to women at the company. They get to talk to leaders at the company. Um, one of uh, the places that we go is RTD. And several years ago, um, Dave Genova was the general manager. And our the girls' ages range from 13 to 23 for this program in particular because um, their parents or guardians aren't with them. So they have to be at least 13. And he sat down and he said to them, he said, you know what? If you want to come here and work now, we'll hire you. If you want to do an internship or shadowing here, we'll do that for you. If you want to come work here later and want to continue your education, we'll pay for your education. He said, we really want you in this industry. How powerful is that to hear when you're only 13 years old? Um, so they get so many insights into the industry. Um, we went to see asphalt paving done. And, you know, they have no experience in construction. I'm like, huh, I just thought it was just a road. It's like, no, there's three levels to it. And one level has to be 300 degrees when you put it down. And there's a whole crew on that paving machine right there. And they're like, wow. So it's really opening it up to them. Now we have um, parents that come up to us and go, oh, my God. My daughter now will be driving along and she'll go, see that over there? I know how they do that. And see that over there? I was there when they started that. And she's just so excited to point out those things to them, just like Lily was on the video. And we start um, this week asking the girls a couple of questions. One is, okay, this is transportation construction girl. What did you think you would learn? One, how to dig a ditch to how to drive a bus. I'm like, we are going to blow your minds. You're going to learn so much more. And then we ask them what they think their career will be. And 50% are saying cosmetologist and hairstyling. Now, if they're watching the catwalk and they're really into it, that's awesome. But the fact of the matter is, if that's all they've seen women do, that's not okay. And I want them to have hundreds of opportunities, not just two. Um, and by the end of the week, we asked them if they found a career that would interest them in this industry, and every one of them 100% say yes. Um, so this is an awesome experience. The other thing is that one of the parents said, you know, we've looked all over for these kinds of experiences for our daughter. We only found one that was even similar, and that would have cost us thousands of dollars. One of the commitments that we make, and we can only make it because of our sponsors, is that every girl can participate for free. So this whole week is free to them. Uh, so, and these are two of our attendees. These are two of our attendees that were so shy. Um, the one on the left is from New Mexico. And I met with her and her grandmother before the week because she was so shy. She was from New Mexico. She didn't know anybody. What was it going to be like? And then the other one, Keon, was really shy as well. And they became best friends at this event and still text each other every day. Um, so we really do everything to encourage the girls and to help them build the networks. It's so interesting to watch because 
this could be one of the few times that girls have actually been around a group of girls that it's not their normal school clique. They come from different economic backgrounds, different geographic backgrounds, different ethnic backgrounds, and they have this opportunity to create this amazing little group. Um, for you know, it's their first networking group for a lot of them. So it's very cool to see. We also have a video gallery. Uh, when I did a search of videos, um, I found that there were a few websites that had a couple of women, um, and it was always an engineer and an architect, which are amazing careers, but there's so many more in this industry. And everybody has a different path into this industry. Um, we have 57 different videos of women in different careers. Um, this is a woman who works at Brannon who started um, as a assistant um, and is now a project manager. Um, we have a woman who is the um, nose ranger who goes and finds out what the um, the uh, the air she tests the air for different construction projects. Um, we have one woman who has a PhD in psychology and is now a project engineer and loves it. So it's just a really nice opportunity we found with the teachers that it gave them a resource that they knew they could go to anytime they wanted to. It was also up there so that they could look at it beforehand and make sure that um, it fit what they were looking for. And girls can go there anytime. Um, it's posted both on YouTube and on our website. So it gives girls an opportunity to go there anytime 24 7. Mentoring internships and shadowing. Um, this is a, a great example of that. Um, on the right is Elena. And she was a graduate of Career Week for Girls. And she was able to um, become a graduate because um, she got a flyer from her woodshop teacher. And he was like, there were only two girls in his class. He's like, you should maybe check this out. So here you go. And she took that flyer and just on faith, she went ahead and um, she came to Career Week for Girls. And she was like, oh my God, I can't believe this. I am a junior in high school and I'm so stressed about what my career is gonna be. And um, she said, this is it, this is what I wanna do. And so she went to her junior year after shadowing um, Nicole for a day. And the next spring I talked to her and I'm like, Elena, um, I talked with Nicole and they'd love to have you as an intern. She's just like, Keller, it's really sweet of you to think of me and I really appreciate that. Thank you. I, I don't want you to think that I'm not appreciative. But, you know, now that I know what my career is going to be, I got to earn some money for college. I said, oh, Elena, you're going to earn so much more as an intern in this industry than you will as a lifeguard at the pool. So she went ahead and um, did an internship that first year. The next year, she did another internship there and called me in July on her birthday saying, I'm 18 now. I can get on a piece of equipment. She was so excited. And she then signed up for CSU to go into construction management. And she said, you know, I can't tell you, I'm only one of a few women in my class, but I'm ahead of both the women and the men because of my real world experience. She said, it's helped me so much. And she is now um, working on a six month um, experience for that program in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah with Layton Construction because she wanted to travel outside of Colorado. So it's been quite a journey for Elena and it started with the internship and the career week for girls. We also do a coloring book. Um, you can go to our website and download the coloring book. We print some every year, but we also make it accessible so anybody can download it. And it's one of the few coloring books I've ever found that features women in construction and transportation backgrounds. Um, 
So again, it's just reinforcing that whole see it to be it. Here is Sarai. She is the one whose father was crying because she, in her own words, had her heart set on cosmetology. Um, after going to our program, she switched to a construction pathway in her high school, um, and she's going to start at CSU in construction management this fall. And she was one of our youngest girls to participate. And you can see off to the right there that that was her when she first started at 13. Molly Schmidt, um, she, her parents say she's teaching them how to not network now because she got so much out of, we need to meet these people. Let me introduce, she was so excited about it. Um, and she is going up to Montana State um, this fall. She also won a writing contest with the Colorado Public Works Journal, where she wrote about her experience in Career Week for Girls. Sila Martinez is just finishing um, her first year at Colorado School of Mines, and we worked with her to help her get the um, Florence Caldwell Achievement Scholarship, which is a four-year scholarship. And um, she wants to be a geological engineer. She said, okay, I know I was a little weird when I was a girl because everybody else is playing with their dolls and I'm collecting rocks. She said, but now I know that that love of mine can be my career. And so um, we also encourage them to dream big and Sela's goal is to be a geological engineer on Mars. And I have no doubt that she'll do it. Jay Helmrich, um, she was a career week for girls graduate and a TCG day ambassador. Um, she was just, she also helped us with one of our career week for girls. She was so encouraging to the other girls. And she is now a welder. And um, I saw her at one of the business networking events where she was with um, the woman who owned the welding company she was working for. And it was so, such a pleasure to see her. And she was so excited. She's like, look, here I am. I'm a welder and I'm at a business networking event. Um, so we really encourage young women to look at the um, careers in this industry. And we also really encourage them that it can be when you graduate from high school or after you have two PhDs, there's so many ways to engage in this industry. And whatever you feel your path is, we want to help you, support you, and encourage you in whatever that is. And this is nine-year-old Lily, our uh, first timer this last fall. So that is what I have for um, the PowerPoint. And I think I've stopped sharing, have I? <laughs> you have. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I should have unplugged one of my monitors when I was doing this. I oh, we're keeping it, keeping it interesting, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for so much for coming. Um, you know, I think this program is just so intriguing. Um, and, you know, it's definitely raised some, um, some insight and just some exposure and some awareness that, hey, you know, what is traditionally thought of as one is not always the case. Um, you know, I think you've probably run up against it. I certainly have in this industry um, because it's it's new. So the more we can get out there and the more we can, um, I think, let people know that, hey, it's okay and it's great and there's opportunity for a great mm -hmm. career, um, the better. So thanks, Keller, so much for coming and speaking to us today and definitely let us know how we can continue to be uh, engaged with with transportation and construction girl. Well, I expect to see you September 29th. I wrote it down. I'm going to bring my daughter. Awesome. <laughs> <She's of age>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, for transportation and construction girl day, it can be any age. The only reason we have that other age um, for career week for girls is just because they don't have parents or guardians with them. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, before I uh, stop the recording, are there any questions or um, or comments for Keller.
Okay. Well, if something pops into your mind, don't uh, hesitate to reach out to either one of us and we'll see what we can do about getting that answered. Thanks so much for joining and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Heather. Thanks.